Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. In Elden Ring, I beat Moog, so I think I'm ready to go to the DLC. Uh, I'll show that clear at the end of the video. I want to show some uh, other things that I did to uh, prepare, or to kind of get used to my build that I used against him. Okay, first, we'll go against the uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel, I think it is. But he is guarding the way into the uh, Lanedale capital. And then I want to show the capital in the uh, the next live stream. But we'll summon the uh, marionette archers. And then I'm dual wielding. I got the spike spear and the naginata. We'll put the uh, poison on there with the ash of war. And then we'll do the uh, the double attack. And then get the buffs from doing the, uh, the poison build up. And also bleed. Alright, so they'll draw the uh, the fire breathing attacks. <laughs> okay, we'll get a bleed trigger there, I think. Alright, that might be an AoE there. I thought this guy was like the tree sentinel at first. It's kind of similar, but like more abilities, more powers. <laughs> okay, so we'll just keep up the damage there. And I feel like with this build, I'm really getting into territory where like I can do so much damage that I can kind of ignore like learning the, uh, the boss's movesets and all that. Don't have to worry about uh, dodging. <laughs> Alright, and then I want the uh, Mushroom Crown so that I can get more damage when... Um, the, uh, the boss has the, uh, the poison status effect. So we'll come here to the Lake of Rot. I'm wearing the, uh, the mushroom set from uh, some cave. Pick that up. All right, there it is. So when I wear this, I'll get 10% uh, more damage when I uh, put the uh, poison on the, uh, on the boss. Doesn't look very cool, but we'll try it out. <laughs> kind of looks like the uh, Xanthus crown from uh, previous Dark Souls games. All right, and then here, let's test out the crown uh, against Astil, a uh, boss deep underground. And then let's also try the, uh, the Mimic tier. This will be my first time using this. I hear it's amazing, so let's see what the uh, fuss is all about. <laughs> yeah, super long range on the boss's attacks. I don't even know how to uh, get close. All right, but same idea here. We'll try to uh, use the uh, L2, Poison Mist. And then do the uh, dual wield attack. There's my uh, Mimic there, just the exact same build as me. I didn't do the thing where like um, you make like a super like tanky build, and then you create it, and then you go back to your regular damage dealing build. I just went for a copy of myself. Uh, because I figured we can uh, like work together to uh, do the poison or the, uh, the bleed status effects. Uh, but one thing that I was not expecting about using the Mimic tier was, like, how tanky it was. I feel like it's more tanky than I am. <laughs> it's got more HP, more resistances. I was surprised that it uh, survived so well. Alrighty. Uh, for big bosses, usually I like to do without the targeting. But with this boss, I felt like the targeting helped. Just because it's kind of actually uh, difficult to uh, get close or to hit the boss. Because uh, the head is uh, moving around a lot. <laughs> yeah, it keeps going up in the air and I can't quite reach him. Right, lots of gravity attacks. Kind of a uh, Bloodborne uh, feel to this boss a little bit. Okay, but we got him down.
And uh, by beating this boss, we can go to that sort of uh, elevated place. Leania Lake, which I was wondering how to get to. And then we went down in the basement of a uh, kind of a church, and I found this. Two fingers. And then what looks like Ronnie. But she's all, like, messed up. <laughs> And I was like, what? Yeah, she's got uh, four arms. <laughs> and then I saw this and I was like, aha. So this is why people were calling this an engagement ring. Uh, this is the ring that I got from uh, her mother's uh, library. And then on this Argo, I have the, um, it's like a crow armor. It gives extra damage on uh, jumping attacks, which I'm trying to remember to do. Uh, but also, it just looks like Argo, so, yeah, I like it a lot. Alright, so the messed up Lonnie disappears, and then the witch, or the regular, so it was thee reappears. So would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. And here she says she's I gonna return to the uh, the night sky. The Lord. And once all Kinda reminds done, me of the uh, Kaguya Hime uh, folktale from Japan. All right, she disappears. I think that's the end of her storyline. And there's an item here, and it's the Moonlight Greatsword, and I was like, holy! So this is how you get it in this game. <laughs> Not going to use it with this build, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, that does kind of make me want to get that for a future build. Okay, finally, let's look at Moog. So I'm wearing the Mushroom Crown. Uh, we'll drink the Super Potion, which will give us immunity to one of his later attacks. Uh, we'll bring out the Mimic tier. And I would have put the um, the attack buff on me, but I forgot to equip a... Um, what do you call it? A yeah, casting thing. Alright, but here we'll do the uh, Ash of War, put on the Poison, and then we'll do the, uh, the dual wield attacks, L1, over and over. <laughs> but doing the uh, L1 takes up a lot of stamina, so... When I run out of stamina, I have to back off. And that'll give me a chance to heal. Okay, jump attack. Some damage in there. Did a good damage for him not going into uh, phase two. <laughs> okay, here he's gonna go into phase two, we can heal. Get back in there. Alright, boss grows wings. Oh, get the bleed there. Ouch. Barely survived that. <laughs> yeah, but my mimic doing just fine. I guess he's at a half HP there. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, get the blood loss again. We'll heal again. Find an opening, get in there. Keep the pressure up. I can see. And we got him, oh this my god. <laughs> and my mimic, still standing. That's crazy. So yeah, that was very much a, um, like a kill or be killed. Like a DPS race, I guess you could say, before he could uh, get me down. So we'll get his great rune, we'll get his uh, remembrance, which we can turn in, we'll get a butt-ton of runes to raise a level. And I totally forgot about this, but if we turn in his remembrance, we can get his spear. And I was like, oh yeah! <laughs> this was kind of the weapon that I've been looking forward to all playthrough. It'll be sort of the ultimate spear for Argo. So I'm actually going to respec my character so that I can equip that. 
Oh, and then here's my uh, build here. Uh, three talismans, all for uh, attack, or damage up, rather. And then maybe overleveled here at 136, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so that was my clear of Moog. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.